Hi, Jeff Howery and I will present this article. My name is Richard Canale, Precinct 9, and I am speaking as the project coordinator for the 2006 Lexington Reconnaissance Project for the Lexington Landscape Inventory Program that was received by the Selectmen in 2006. First, a bit of background. The report's many recommendations contain some short-term implementation goals, with others to be implemented over a longer time frame. Most of its recommendations have been completed over the past dozen years. One recommendation was for preservation for the property at Highland Ave that just occurred at last year's fall town meeting. The recommendation for a Battle Road Scenic Byway reached the report's final goal, a federal designation, only last month. A few others are still to be worked on. Four years ago, the Planning Board placed a town meeting warrant article to accept a scenic road bylaw for Lexington. That was a busy year for the planning board, and the board did not have time to thoroughly research all the issues outlined in the landscape inventory, and the article was indefinitely postponed at town meeting. Fortunately, a citizen expert, Jeff Howery, has come forward with the means to get this landscape inventory back on track. This slide shows part of the report's recommendations, which the motion incorporates. And you can see uh, there are three different outcomes. One is to uh, look at the scenic road bylaw itself. The other is to look outside of the right of way to see um, what um, views or things that are on public or private property. And the third is um, a variety of uh, issues to be researched. Although the war original warrant article and description are a bit muddled, Jeff and I worked with the moderator to get a motion that conforms to the warrant description. The motion also conforms to the recommendations of the landscape inventory report. Finally, here are the mechanisms for the planning board to follow. The planning board has agreed on these steps if the article passes. Madam Moderator, Jeff Howery will now elaborate on the tasks. This is Jeff Howery from Precinct 2 in East Lexington. The concept of scenic roads reflects the broadened appreciation of our heritage that includes both the built environment and natural landscapes. The scenic road captures the context of many types of historic buildings, structures, and byways, which contain the landscape memory of our prior centuries. The Freedom's Way landscape inventory documented some of the more well-known landscape features of our earlier built environment. However, there are a variety of historic and archeological resources which warrant identification, careful documentation, and protection. One example, cited in the Freedom's Way Landscape Inventory is Oxbow Road, located in southwest Lexington in wooded terrain near the town's water tower. This road was first used in the earliest of colonial times during the 1660s when it was connected to Concord and Watertown, two of the earliest south and west towns from Cambridge. Many of the examples in the following presentation are from my research or that of other published sources. This slide shows several views of the cart path to the original Harrington homestead in East Lexington. Originally, a path extended eastward from Massachusetts Avenue, then called the Bay Path, along what is now Curve Street and into the Harrington property. The homestead site benefited from its proximity to what we now call Great Meadow because it provided extensive pasture, much like the open field system which the colonists used back in England. This is an excellent example of an historic byway which warrants recognition. Walnut Street extends south from Concord Avenue and connects to Palo Road in Waltham, which in Waltham is known as Woburn Street. 
this street contains long segments bounded by stone walls and hundred-year-old oak trees and warrants preserving as a scenic road. Another example of a scenic road is a portion of Concord Avenue with its 18th century stone wall bounding the equally old alignment of the old Concord Road. Historic road segments like this one preserve the character of Lexington. A street in the recent subdivision of Lexington Hills preserves the name of a segment of a stagecoach road which once extended to Fitchburg. A magnificent stone wall bounds the south side of what was once this stagecoach route. Here is another example of what has been partially preserved as an historic byway or scenic road. The Lexington Waltham boundary at Spring Street presents an historic stone boundary wall and massive white oak boundary trees on both sides of the street. The boundary wall may be historically related to the Parker family, whose homestead was located several hundred feet north of this town boundary. To summarize, the next step should be as follows. The planning board should establish a scenic roads committee. The committee should prioritize areas to survey, complete an inventory to document the resources, roads, cartways, walls, historic built dwelling locations and adjacent fields. And thirdly, study each of the recommendations in the resulting landscape inventory and report the findings and recommendations to the planning board. Richard and I would appreciate your support by voting to adopt our article and direct the planning board to form a scenic roads committee. A copy of the full text presented in the PowerPoint and the accompanying narrative can be separately accessed via a link on the town website adjacent to the video presentation. Thank you.